Die Precision, otherwise referred to as the Holt Renfrew of paintball, sought to bring a product to market that touches what both tournament and milsim consumers care for in a marker, aesthetics, performance, and function. With this, the Die Assault Matrix, DAM, was introduced and utilized strictly as a magfed platform can meet and exceed all of these desirables. Dai has earned a reputation for pure quality in all of their products and this one exemplifies that statement. The marker comes in a beautiful tailored case, snugly protecting the platform. Dai Ultralight Barrel, Full Color Manual, Dai Arc Repair Kit, Backup Tools, Lube, Complete Eye Pipe Rebuild and Marker Rebuild Components, 9V Battery, and the nicest feed neck and tech board this side of modern combat sports. The initial presentation is completely superb. Bringing a unique design to the Milsim realm that could resemble something from EA's Battlefield 2142, the Die Dam has a sleek and cool appearance that stands apart from its peers. From the modular handguard implementation to a magwell foregrip arguably more ergonomic than some designed for real steel, a pristine polished stock barrel, thoughtful pistol grip, magazines with an integrated trap door protecting loaded rounds, on-off ASA, LED breech indicator, and sensible stock design. The marker comes very close to absolute perfection. A hidden drawback that the marker does possess is that it is not waterproof. This is a veritable requirement for Milsim enthusiasts in that using products for hard style play is the normal and the need to be mindful of drizzle or rain is a considerable negative for a high-end electro marker. Also, the marker's included stock is designed with only remote line play in mind as using even a Ninja 13x3000 HPA tank will force the stock to be fully extended, rendering most high-powered optics difficult to utilize effectively with even a Dai i4 goggle system. A user preferring long range, where the Dai Dam performance really shines, will have to choose their setup carefully and may need to electively purchase the Dai Lightweight Dam stock. Marker balance is located immediately above the trigger, leading to a remarkably even feel while shouldering for CQC or sniper engagements. With a true ambidextrous M4 type mag release and a total mass of only 2.11 kilograms or 4.65 pounds, the dyed dam will feel natural and efficient for any magfed shooter. Not to be confused with simple hyperbole, this rifle marker actually is outstanding in multiple aspects. Using exclusively first strike rounds for trajectory testing, each shot was observed to be remarkably consistent while using a static target with a diameter of 6 inches at 35.7 meters, 117 feet or 39 yards at 3 degrees incline, verified with a laser rangefinder. While using the stock bolt and Labco Tiberius Arms FSR rifled barrel, this marker easily rivaled the Karmatech Engineering SAR-12 in FSR shot-to-shot -shot accuracy with 50% and actually had a spread pattern approximately only 20 centimeters or 7.9 inches across. For CQC type action with the stock barrel, 86.7% FSR accuracy was observed on the same target at 22.9 meters, 75 feet or 25 yards at 4 degrees incline. Outstanding! Additionally, a die dam shooter can expect consistent average air efficiency yielding plus minus 1 feet per second while using first strike rounds. Magazine loading is very smooth and the eye pipe is very effective anti-chop technology. The hyper inline regulator coupled with the dam board ensures that each and every shot is at the preset velocity. If by chance the velocity drops off, the system will ensure that successive shots will remain at the desired velocity even when the HPA tank utilized is low on air pressure. Wow! Additionally, the marker is extremely quiet even at high velocities, with inherent suppressive operation which also serves to minimize recoil. With toolless bolt removal, maintenance is easy and fast, as well as battery changes. Lacking in mechanical safety is a drawback however. The OTF mag to hopper system can actually serve this role, but a user needs to take note to ensure the chamber is clear before utilizing this solution. The value offering presented here is indeed clear, quality does cost more. 
However, with a MagFed market deep with quality products from Milsig, Rap4, Honorcore, and Karmatech Engineering that all do not depend upon electronics and have proven themselves to function optimally even in damp conditions at reduced price points. Even the most discerning Milsim enthusiast will take careful note of these features. Also, the Diadam ships with full-featured tournament electronic settings that are quite superfluous for Milsim needs, as the default settings are already quite practical. Additionally, to allow the dam to output performance rivaling and surpassing the SAR-12, approximately another $150 Canadian must be allocated by a consumer. This allotment could put a MagFed enthusiast's total investment well over $2,000 Canadian. In a word, pricey. Upgrade recommendations for the Dai Dam are a Lapco Tiberius Arms FSR rifled barrel, Lapco suppressor, Dai Dam tactical Ironman bolt, Tiberius Arms adjustable riser, and a UTG 4x32mm scope. This marker had assuredly set a new accuracy benchmark by which all other products can be judged. Considering the Dai Dam's dependency upon electronics, can fairly be considered an advantage or drawback based on a particular enthusiast's magfed requirements. All in all, the Didam is a veritable force on the playfield and should command well-earned respect in the hands of an accomplished Milsim marksman. Die Precision <laughs>